This is GCE, Ordinary Level Support Program 2020. It is time for fresh lessons. Let's begin. I am Priyanti Koditwaku, Assistant Director of ICT in Central Provincial Education Department. We, have, we are going to conduct a series of video lessons with related to our study guide prepared for GCE O-Level students who sit for the exam in 2020. We have selected few ICT concepts uh, which we know are very difficult for our students. Today, I am going to start the lesson uh, for grade 11, the first lesson in grade 11 textbook. Okay. Now you may be wondering what will we be, we, what will be doing today. First of all, do you know how to make a sandwich? Maybe you may be wondering why for ICT we are going to learn to make sandwiches. So recall how your mother or your sister, maybe you made, made a sandwich. Now we have our raw materials with us. You can see the raw materials. We have collected two slices of bread, uh, some pieces of tomatoes, uh, a slice of cheese and some leaves of lettuce and also some butter. Then uh, what, how shall we make the sandwich? Now think the way you, your mother make the sandwich. First we have to uh, spread some butter on a slice of bread. Now you can add some filling. You may add the filling you like. On top of the uh, slice of bread you have buttered. You can add a piece of tomato, piece of uh, cheese and some leaves of uh, salad. Then when you, when you have uh, filled all the fillings on top of the piece of bread, you can add the other slice of bread. Now, for the, this thing we called as the method. After collecting the raw material, we have to do something with the raw material and we call that as our method. Then, as the last step, we have to take the other slice of bread and put it on the top of the prepared slice of bread. Now we have a tasty sandwich. So this is our result. Now think of the, uh, think of the, the uh, scenario we encountered. We, pre we wanted to prepare a sandwich. We collected some raw material. Then we did something with the raw material. Then we have our product. So now let's move on with this. You may be wondering, in computing, these raw materials we collect are called as input or inputs. Here we have slices of bread, some piece of tomatoes, a slice of cheese and some leaves of salad some butter, maybe you can add some salt and some pepper. These are called as inputs. Then afterwards we have to do some things to this input. We call that as process. We, so uh, when, when we uh, spread some butter on a slice of bread, it is included in the process. Then uh, and also you have to take into account now this process is done by step by step, carried out in step by step. First we have to uh, spread butter on a slice of bread. Then afterwards we have to put the filling on the slice of bread. We call that as a process. A process can be made out of steps. There may be one step or several steps and also in some processes you can reverse the steps but in some processes you have to carry the process steps in a certain order and finally we will get the result which is the output. A computer works according to this. We have input and then later on we have process 
and afterwards we have output. Okay, now in your home you can prepare a sandwich and think of your ICT lesson. Then we will go to a question related to this. Now uh, I need to uh, I need to explain this also. You can prepare a sandwich where if you have uh, tomatoes you can add a slice of tomatoes. If you have some other filling you can use that. Suppose now I started from uh, slices of bread and I have the all the fillings prepared previously. So I selected them as inputs. But if you are making a sandwich you can include those steps inside the process. Maybe you may have some onions, some tomatoes in the fridge. So you have you can collect those things as input then later on you have to wash them, cut them. So you can include those steps in the process. Then my recipe is different to your recipe. But at the end I also get a sandwich, you also get a sandwich. So we, uh, exp we can define our solution space that is we are going to prepare a sandwich it will it we, you may use a different method I can use a different method all the solutions we use to get our output is called as the solution space but remember we have to get the in, in result is the same. You will get a sandwich. I also be getting a sandwich. I will sometimes if I have prepared my vegetables previously, I have cut and uh, prepared them. I will get a sandwich much faster. You will be uh, getting a sandwich with uh, some time space. Uh, you have to uh, use more time. But remember these things input, process, output and solution space okay now we will move on to a question or a question in part two now i have selected this question 2018 question mcq number 17 read the question i will read the question when you are reading the question think of our lesson a person inserts his ATM card into a bank ATM and enters the PIN code. Then he enters amount of money he wants to withdraw. After checking the available balance in the account, the ATM dispenses the money, updates the balance and displays the new balance. Which of the following lists an input, a process, and an output in the given scenario respectively. Now we, we come across the words we learned today. Input, process, output. And remember they, are, they have given you a scenario and remember the words respectively. What is the meaning of the word respectively? It is very, very important. You may be wondering now you have input, process and output. But the question asks you have to identify those inputs, processes and output. And they have to be in order. Respectively is meant by that. So now we will uh, uh, think what are the inputs? Now we have our ATM card and also our PIN code and amount of money. ATM machine doesn't know our the amount of money we need to withdraw and our PIN code. When we enter the ATM card and the PIN code and the in, uh, amount of money we can uh, we, we have to under, understand in this scenario the there are several inputs. So we can when you are reading the question, just underline them. ATM card, PIN code, amount of money to withdraw. Now after that, what happens inside the ATM machine? The, those are the processors. Here in the question, after he enters the amount of money to withdraw, what happens there? Well, normally inside an ATM machine, the PIN code is validated. He checks whether the, the PIN, code, PIN code matches with the ATM card and the PIN code matches. Then only you can, uh, you can proceed. Now the processors. 
processes are checking the available balance in the account and update. We can't see the, those things are happening inside the machine. So those are the processes. You have to identify the processes. Then the output. What do we need to take as the result? We need the money. So and also it displays the new balance. It is the output. It is given as the output. So as the output we have money and our new balance it is displayed so you will be given the uh, scenarios like this and you have to uh, identify the inputs processes and the output now we will move on to our question we have selected our answers but we we will be given four options in the mcq paper we have to relate our answers with that options now you can see all the answers we have selected and the uh, options given by the paper now think we have now we know input processes and outputs but they should be in the order now think amount of money to withdraw it is correct it is an input new balance it is an output money is an output so the first option it has only one input and two outputs so we can't take that as an answer what about the second one amount of money to withdraw it is an input updating the balance it is a process a new balance is the output so you only have to read these two options you can get the answer as number two so students you may be having this kind of questions now i discussed 2018 uh, in 2017 paper in part two it is given uh, this this same scenario is given for you just check now where you now you have so much free time check all the past papers and do, do this kind of questions you will score marks at your O levels now uh, I have a simple activity for you identify the inputs processors and output of the given examples first one making a fruit salad just uh, uh, as we prepared the sandwich making a fruit salad identify the inputs processors and outputs then calculating the area of a rectangle three finding the BMI value of a person last one finding the monthly amount you need to spend for electricity in your home I included this because now all of you are uh, all of you are at home and you they are they are electricity your electricity bill may be increasing day by day so try to find out that also and try to use electricity effectively thank you very much until we meet goodbye ITV Central Province Educational Channel Sri Lanka powered by Silicon Crib happens all the time